Hey there, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. For those that may be unfamiliar, my name is Carolyn B. And this is an exclusive for Nicole's channel. So thank you. Um, for those that may be unfamiliar, I am a tarot reader, certified angel oracle reader, and Capricorn. Let's just get started here. I'm going to pull you a couple of cards uh, just to see what your message could possibly be for October 2020. All right. Your ruling planets are Uranus and Saturn. All right, Aquarius. I don't know why I just want to say Capricorn or if I just did, but some of my Aquarians out there, uh, you are an air sign. You could be working with that Capricorn energy. This uh, reading could have to do very, very quick couple of cards here. Could have to do with love, lack thereof, health, uh, friends, family, finances, uh, cross watcher. Feel free to pull up a seat. This reading can go vice versa or maybe not have anything to do with you at all. All right. And uh, let's see. What do we have for our first card when it comes to Aquarius? Aquarius. All righty. Uh, thank you so much. We have the raccoon. It says resourcefulness. All right. On the bottom here, it says you have all the resources that you need. Um, and I do understand some of you or all of you are in different areas of your life, you know, uh, and some of you may be thinking, well, Carolyn, not necessarily. I really don't feel like I've got the resources I need. I mean, we are in interesting times right now, uh, you know, and uh, this is basically saying this when it comes to uh, animal birth totems or animal spirit guides, which I love uh, animals out there. They can really teach us a lot. You know, uh, you can get messages from them. All right. There is a difference when it comes to animal birth totems, animal spirit guides. That'll be another video for another day. And, uh, you know, at this one, it could come in. You could see it in a dream, physically see it. Uh, you know, maybe you like the animal or resonate with it, hear people talk about it, possibly see tattoos. But your message here, all right, for my Aquarians out there, you are very resourceful. All right, uh, you've got that wonderful air energy. I've got so many fabulous friends that are Aquarius, you know, uh, and it's wonderful how they do have the resources, whether your living situation or financial situation is not necessarily the best at the moment, you pull yourself right on out of it. Aquarius, when I, when I hear Aquarius, I think royalty. All right, but you are very resourceful when it comes to getting the things that you need. Um, and I do understand you, you could possibly, you know, uh, be homeless. All right. Been there, done that, you know, and I know what it's like. And, uh, you know, pulling yourself out of that, you know, uh, we are here for a reason. If we've made it to this point, you're still breathing. All right. So, uh, for example, when I had to go through uh, some rough times there, you know, I didn't have... Uh, uh, you know, the things I needed until I really opened up my eyes and started looking around. Okay, you know what? At least I've got this. A small example, you know, at least I've got, you know, water. You know, at least where... It could be a lot worse pulling yourself out of it. If you're in a situation, possibly it could be you're like, Carolyn, my life's going perfectly fine, which is awesome. However, you're finding uh, you're having to be possibly resourceful when it comes to love or lack thereof love. Possibly if you're in the dating game, all right, uh, you're like, Carolyn, I've, I've drained my resources, you know, I've tried dating online, I've tried, you know, meeting new people, new groups, uh, you know, I've tried blind dates, and just nothing really seems to work, all right, so we're going to be asking our angel guides, spirit guides, universe, all right, if there's any particular message for our singles out there, or any generalized message when it comes to love, again, this is very, very quickly, just to kind of introduce myself to all of you and to say hello. You know, uh, Nicole is a fabulous coach. She really, really has helped me greatly and continues to do so. All right. But this is letting you know that universe will provide for you and there's going to be a wonderful reward. All right. So when it comes to the love game or lack thereof, we've got the queen of wands here and we also have the judgment card. Who's been judging my Aquarians out there? Cross watcher. This may not have anything to do with you. Uh, possibly you could be judging yourself Aquarius too harshly or maybe uh, not not, not, could be judging others or possibly there's nothing wrong with keeping your standards high. We've got the queen of wands right there. So some of my Aquarians out there could be working with that fiery energy or meeting a fire sign. Uh, for those that may be unfamiliar, you could be looking at an Aquarius 
uh, Aries, Leo. So be on the lookout for somebody like that and somebody that can dress really good. Wow, um, I'm really excited about that. But it's funny, royalty, we pull a queen here. All right. Uh, also, too, some of you could be working with Capricorn energy as well and uh, possibly Taurus, maybe even Virgo. We have the judgment right here. All right. Uh, again, so this is not judging yourself too harshly, not letting others judge you too harshly and letting go of that so you can make room for somebody possibly new coming in or possibly mending re broken relationships, which is awesome. Two thumbs up. Uh, so hopefully that quick little message was helpful for somebody out there. And uh, until next time.